Bonjour à tous, c'est Jean pour votre podcast en français pour réussir. Ici, on parle d'examen, du DELF, du TEF, on regarde des sujets d'examen ensemble et on parle des moyens pour s'améliorer et réussir à ces examens. Aujourd'hui, on va faire un épisode un petit peu spécial, un petit peu différent de ce qu'on fait d'habitude. L'épisode d'aujourd'hui sera sous forme d'entretien. Un entretien avec une étudiante qui va vous parler de son expérience par rapport au DELF B1. Cette étudiante s'appelle Karine. Bonjour Karine. Bonjour, bonjour tout le monde. Tout d'abord, merci beaucoup d'avoir accepté mon invitation pour nous partager ton expérience du DELF B1. Euh, je pense que ça va aider beaucoup de gens qui le préparent. Euh, alors, pour que les plus débutants d'entre vous comprennent, Karine va me répondre en anglais. Ce sera donc plus facile pour vous. Alors Karine, est-ce que oui. tu peux te présenter Oui, euh... Je m'appelle Karine. I'm uh, Karen. Uh, je, 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 je viens de Hong Kong. Uh, I'm from Hong Kong. Um, I am a teacher. Uh, I teach my own language. So I love learning language. Très bien. Ok. Et alors, pourquoi est-ce que tu as choisi de passer le DELF B1? Uh, because my husband, uh, he's French. And we would like to live in France. So I love the language and I love the culture and I would like to be naturalized. I want to be French. So I start with uh, taking the exam. Ok, très bien, très bien. Et alors, euh, combien de temps euh, ça t'a pris pour préparer euh, cet examen Tu avais combien de temps de préparation devant toi mm, I start in April 2020. And then I uh, finished the exam in, in, in six months. I finished in November 2020 and I got the result in January and I passed B1 in half year okay. of preparation. Okay, et donc tu as réussi. Félicitations. Euh, comment, euh, concrètement, comment est-ce que tu t'es préparé à cet examen Quelle était ta, ta stratégie et tes, les ressources que tu as utilisées Mm. Um, first of all, I have um, a teacher. He he was uh, very gen generous to give me some classes. We ex exchange our classes. I taught him Cantonese. He taught me French, and he also, uh, you know, he he gave me some information about how the examiner uh, they would uh, give us the marks. Uh, they will uh, examine and then how things go and we practice quite a lot on production or high mm -hmm. like uh, oral speaking and writing and he gave me a wonderful insight because when we sit for an exam it is not about only to study the language it's to how to success how to uh, get the diploma So we focus uh, on reading the marking scheme uh, for a while. Then he told me, uh, try to avoid losing marks by making very uh, simple mistake, like maybe the gender of the subject, object, like la chaise or like uh, la jambe, you, you, you have to write it correctly. So it's quite in, impressive to me. And... I, I have so many uh, strategy. So, but the main main concept is forget about grammar because we know grammar well. But we need to focus on the part that we can earn more marks, which is speaking and writing. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, if we spend too many times on practicing grammar, it, it, it won't. Mm, it's not the main point because we have four papers to take care. <laughs> C'est vrai, c'est mmh. vrai. Donc, euh, très, très intéressant euh, ce que tu dis. Ça va être très utile euh, pour euh, les auditeurs. Et euh, comme tu l'as mentionné, je pense qu'effectivement, c'est très important aussi, aussi de se préparer pour l'examen en lui-même. Euh, même mmh. si on sait déjà parler euh, un petit peu français et si on parle correctement, je pense que l'examen en lui-même est un petit peu particulier. Alors, euh, après toute cette préparation, est-ce que tu t'es senti suffisamment préparé euh, avant l'examen 
just never feel ready, but uh, just try to be ready. Uh, it was very stressful. Um, in Hong Kong, we only have uh, two times a year for sitting for the Delft B1 exam. And other, they are TCF, but TCF very expensive. I tried and I failed. And then I have one more time is the Delve uh, B1. And luckily I passed, I success. But then if I don't, then I have maybe have to wait for four or five months to try again. Um, so um, what make me feel a bit better is to practice with my husband. Uh, we, we, Actually, he, he helped me in the end because we both feel it is very important to pass. So we create a small table and we sit together for the last few days. We practice every day uh, some subject uh, that we got from uh, uh, Jean, uh, Jean uh, books, the PDF, that about the oral topic, 150 topic. And I also, uh, with her, with his help, I... Uh, I, I use his PDF, the vocabulary list. Uh, actually, it just gives me more uh, preparation to know, uh, to learn more vocabulary as much as I can because the time is so limited. So uh, learning vocabulary is very good. It's important for the reading and uh, reading part paper and the listening part, the, the paper. So uh Overall, uh, we, we need to learn more vocabulary, so it's the right way. Bon, bah c'est très bien. Je suis content que les livres, les PDF t'aient aidé. C'est important pour moi. Euh, est-ce que <rire> tu veux, euh, est-ce que tu veux nous parler euh, un petit peu de comment s'est passée euh, la production écrite, la production orale Est-ce que tu veux nous parler un petit peu de chaque chaque partie Ah, ok. Um, mm, um... Let me start with listening because the exam is also start with listening, the first paper. So the listening is uh, very difficult. Um, there will be very little time for you to design, uh, to choose the answer, to write down the answer. There's not much time. They play uh, one or twice and then that's it. So uh, I do not expect myself to get uh, very high marks because I live in Hong Kong and it is not a very good environment to train the listening so but luckily i i have a good okay i pass it uh, so um the time is very limited so i would suggest people to do more a, a test um the mock, mock paper online that you go to the um website the, the official website there's lots of uh, free uh, mock paper and you can also go to the uh, tv mon 5 right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oui, yeah yeah so monde, yeah, yeah uh, you need to do some uh, work before you really go to, to sit for an exam and the second one is um for, for for my preparation i just keep doing listening every week every week um on saturday morning and um it is an exam style so i will know my uh marks so it's oh. quite standard it's just like uh half of it i just get half of it correct then i'm okay so i know okay i need to work more, uh, harder for other papers okay. to compensate okay. okay so after listening there should be the uh reading Oui. Uh, reading paper. So reading is uh, so easy because uh, I read better than I speak and better than I write. So it's not a big problem. So just continue. I don't, uh, I do uh, do the mock exam um, uh, when I do the other papers, you know. So I'm very content with it. Uh, it's I got a high mark. So it is a paper that I will get high marks. Okay. And then uh, see all uh, And then it's, uh, what, what next? Uh, writing, writing. Yeah, writing. I, uh, my, uh, writing is, uh, very difficult to prepare because first, uh, it has different format. You need to write a letter or you need to write, um, like a SMS, what, WhatsApp message, or you need to write an article, uh, to reply to, um, Um, newspaper mm -hmm. and to and also there's an essay like you may talk about some your opinion so i practice all these formats uh, following a book um and then uh i have someone to uh, i have my husband to help me to take a look and but remember 
when you write, you need to be careful of the numbers of words. You cannot be write too much or write too little. Mm -hmm. And you make, make sure you have all the grammatically, you check it grammatically. Okay. Mm. So how I prepare for that, uh, because I don't want to always write many, many passages. Sometimes I would do the translation. For example, I see a English sentence and I try to translate it into French. And then actually I have the um, answer. I have the answer of the French. I would compare if I make any uh, big mistake. Um, it is a, a, a writing practice I have. So I hope you understand. So. <laughs> oui, c'est très clair. C'est très clair. Yeah. So is it the last paper is the oral? Oral oui. is, um, is, I spend so much time. So it's very, very uh, challenging, but it's very exciting to, to, to do. Uh, there's three parts. The first part is to do a self introduction. And then you have to really uh, write down it uh, before you present to the examiner. It gonna be perfect. Like you, you have to tell the examiner about yourself and the content is nice that he would ask you some question. So, yeah. So I really uh, memorize it well and then I sail it with eye contact and I look normal <laughs> to tell him, okay, I'm a teacher and so and so. I'm not like memorizing and then uh, say it. I just say it to him with eye contact. And then the next one is the next part is an interaction. Like uh, I'm going to throw a party and you have to discuss about uh, what to buy and where is the venue with your friend. Then that would be the interaction part. And it's so many different uh, content. Uh, I will talk about it more about my experience in mm -hmm. the exam. So the last part is the third part uh, is an opinion. You need to Oui. give opinion then i i have to learn so many things i have to learn the uh, important uh, expressions but i learned a lot from uh, jean book there's a book i think it's the 150 oui. subject it's talk about many like par contre, um like furthermore that connectors mm -hmm. and yeah like oh uh, it must be great if da, 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 that kind of mm -hmm. phrase and expression so the examiner can feel that you know the technique. Mm -hmm. The most important is he feels that you have the technique of mm -hmm. discussing and express opinion. Yeah, that's my feeling. Ok, bah c'est très bien, effectivement. Euh, je crois que tu parlais des connecteurs logiques. Euh, ça, c'est vrai que ça, ça aide beaucoup. Euh, c'est très intéressant ce que tu dis. Euh, Est-ce qu'il y avait à l'examen quelque chose à quoi tu t'attendais Tu pensais qu'il y aurait ça à l'examen et qui n'était pas à l'examen finalement mmh. uh, oh, That's a lot. Um, I have to say, we as a student, um, we, we are under stress. So we were all... In the exam, there will be always things that you, you can't control. I remember my first time taking the oral exam. Um, the, I was too stressful. And the person who sent me a PDF telling me when to return to the exam center after the lunch break. break. So the, the person sent me the email. She did not send the right time. So the time was wrong. And then inside the exam um, room, before we, we take a break, uh, she told people about the time change, but I wasn't there because maybe I, I went to the washroom or whatever. So I was, I was late for the oral. Oh, wow. So I lost, I lost time. Actually, there's a 10 minutes preparation time for me to read a passage. Wow. It was so awful. And... The next time, but anyway, I failed. Um, not only because of the time that I miss, but uh, but I won't say it's a uh, administrative problem. It's just I'm I was not lucky and I was stressed. Okay. Yeah. And um, yeah, that is the one that I want to remind students that to make sure the time mm -hmm. of uh, for the oral exam. Uh, oui, oui, effectivement, on peut pas tout contrôler pendant les examens et, et ça il faut il faut l'accepter euh, il y a une part d'imprévu hein, de, de hasard de chance aussi comme tu as dit euh, alors après cet examen euh, comment est-ce que tu t'es senti mm, I, I was happy if you um, 
it, it, the whole whole exam give me a new new experience. It is an examination that will change my life, and yes, it's proved to be. Uh, the whole process is talking about six months, and the last few months I was working every day four hours. Uh, studying French, and you never know what come next. So you just keep uh, keep swimming, keep practicing in the pool for four hours per day. And I have never been so hardworking before. Mm, okay. Yeah, so mm. it was wonderful. So after the exam, I I still tell myself if I won't pass, I will continue to fight for it. Okay, bah, c'est super, uh, très bonne attitude. Mm. Donc, euh, évidemment, on n'a rien sans rien, comme on dit en français. Donc, euh, il faut travailler, il faut étudier, il faut pratiquer pour espérer euh, réussir, bien sûr. Bon, euh, qu'est-ce que tu as prévu de faire euh, maintenant euh, Quels sont tes projets Maintenant que tu as réussi ce DELF B1, euh, tu m'as dit que tu prévoyais de passer le DELF B2, peut-être mm. Uh, now I'm in France and I am very contented. Je suis contente. Okay. And I know learning French uh, in France is so much easy. So I use this opportunity to also share the experience to people who do not learn French in France. They, they live overseas. Um, it, it, it is hard to learn French not in France. So, uh, okay. So my, my plan r right now is to continue to learn every day, but it's in, um, it's very interesting. For example, I live here, I, I watch the news and it's really related to me. For example, it's very hot these days, a heat wave. And I, I, I follow the same subject and I watch the whole week of the same topic, a uh, heat wave in, um, the news and I really feel I'm part of the society and um, but uh, on the other hand I know uh, the vocabulary is very important for me so I'm trying to look for ways to learn vocabulary uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way that I can communicate with the people besides uh, uh, watching TV uh, news I want to be able to communicate with people as well but now I don't stress myself I don't I try not to take class I want to see how I can um, have a language immersion without um, taking a, taking a class with a teacher or in school ok donc dans la, la vie quotidienne dans la vie euh, mm. de tous les jours très bien Ok. Hmm. Euh, Est-ce que tu as un dernier mot à nous dire Quelque chose dont tu voudrais nous parler, euh, qui n'a rien à voir, peut-être un sujet différent, quelque chose que tu veux partager, euh, profiter de cette occasion hmm. um, I would say try every method you, you like. It is not a problem of uh, learning by yourself or uh, taking an online course or learn in Alliance Française um, or have a private teacher or you just just buy lots of books, it's not a problem. If you love learning French, if you have a good purpose, you want to um, you want to get the diploma for further study or for naturalization or for your own interest, just go for it. Uh, I know some people, they would worry about if I'm learning French with the right method and what if I do not have the budget but you know learning is about the quality time that you sit down and memorize the phrases the vocabulary so it can be anything any, any method ok très bien yeah. effectivement la motivation <laughs> c'est très important yeah and I also have two things uh, Jean for his book um, it's wonderful and I also uh, introduced his book to my friends. So uh, just take a look of what he, he offers. It's very, very useful, for, especially for the exam. And his book is, is uh, affordable. OK, ben, merci. Je suis content. Je suis très content que ce, ce soit utile. C'est vraiment l'objectif. Yeah, I hope he will give me some free books. <laughs> ah, ok, on, on verra les prochains, ouais. Ok, ah, ok. okay. Alors, yeah. euh, bah merci, voilà. Euh, merci beaucoup, Karine, pour avoir partagé ton expérience du Delph B1. Je suis sûr mm. que ça va être très, très utile à de nombreuses personnes. Euh, bien sûr, tu es la bienvenue pour revenir nous parler du Delph B2 quand tu l'auras passé et réussi. Oui, euh, merci beaucoup. Tantez, tantez. <laughs> Si vous aussi, vous avez réussi un examen en français, que ce soit le DELF ou le TEF, si vous souhaitez en parler et partager votre expérience comme Karine, 
vous pouvez me contacter via le site getsetfrench.com. Et comme d'habitude, si vous avez aimé ce podcast, mettez une bonne note sur Apple Podcast ou Spotify ou un gentil commentaire, ce sera très utile pour moi et pour les autres. Voilà, bon courage pour votre préparation à l'examen et à la prochaine fois